Whether you're just curious about their differences or you're here because you're trying to narrow down the choices for your next family pup, you've come to the right place. Both these breeds are excellent choices for family companions. But let's dive in a little deeper and see their differences and similarities and what you can expect if you welcome either dog breeds into your home. Alright, without further ado, let's go. Category number 1 Appearance Border Collies and the Golden Retriever are easy to tell apart. The Border Collie is a medium sized dog, and the Golden Retriever is a large sized dog, such as the largest of Borders is the same size as the smallest Golden, and Borders are also shorter by a few inches. So, their size difference might be the answer they need to choose between the breeds for some families. Category number 2 Temperament Breed temperaments are usually the reason why a family might choose one over the other. Both of these dogs are full to the brim with love for their family, so much that it can be sickly sweet sometimes, and too much for those who prefer less needy pets. But it's all part of their friendly charm. Expect canine cuddles on tap if you're in the main human pack. The only concern with a border collie is that he might try to attempt hurting the other pets, and sometimes even smaller children. The other main difference between the two breeds is that the Border is aloof with those outside the family unit. Even after he's been introduced to them, he can be very reserved. And then there's the Golden Retriever who is everyone's golden boy. He's super friendly, never suspicious and believes everyone is his friend, even with a robber sack in hand. Category number 3 Exercise they both need intense exercise to keep them happy and healthy, and if you fail to meet their exercise needs, they will both become problematic, unhappy, and destructive. If you haven't got time to commit to their active schedules, you shouldn't take either of these guys on. Category number 4 Training Both the Golden Retriever and the Border Collie are easy to train. They are among the easiest to train dogs in the canine kingdom, and they are very obedient. This is why they are both suited for first-time dog owners, because it doesn't take a lot of experience to get them doing tricks. Utilize the positive reinforcement training method and it'll be a breeze. But, and this is a big but, neither of these dogs transform into polite pooches without your help. Many owners make this mistake assuming they can train them themselves, but no. They both need early obedience training and socialization to be polite and pleasant pooches. Expose them to as much as you can when they are young, such as dogs, other animals, different environments, and also people. Before we continue, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks. Category number 5. Nutrition. Despite their differences, both breeds eat almost the same quantity of food every day. The Border Collie will eat around 2.5 cups of food and the Golden Retriever eats about 3 cups. This might seem very similar despite their size difference, but the Border Collie burns much more calories than the Golden. Category number 6 Grooming Their grooming routines are determined by their coat lengths. The Golden Retriever has a medium length coat that needs brushing 2 to 3 times a week to keep him look healthy, as well as to prevent matting. This is the same for Border Collies who have a medium length coat. If the Border opts for shorter coat, you'll need to brush him once or twice a week. Both breeds have medium or longer fluffy coats, so regardless of which breed you land on, be prepared for an intense grooming commitment. Category number 7. Price The average price of a puppy from a decent breeder is almost the same for both breeds and expect to pay upwards of $1,000 for either breed as a puppy. The Border Collie's price is slightly lower than the Golden Retriever just because he is less popular and in demand. You need to be aware of backstreet breeders though, especially when it comes to Golden Retriever and his long list of health concerns. And last but not least, final thoughts. There's no doubt that they both make wonderful family pets, but they both prefer a different type of family. All you need to do is to work out which dog breed better suits you and your lifestyle. The Border Collie is a more intensely active one, and he prefers having his family all to himself. The Golden Retriever, though, is a sociable butterfly out of the two. 
he is more likely to enjoy a snooze in the afternoon. Ultimately, as long as you can meet their needs, they will both meet your canine expectations and even more. Alright guys, which one do you think you'll get? Make sure to comment below and also, here's two other videos I know you'll enjoy.